Hey everybody, this is Leslie from Good afternoon. Welcome in. Hey Janie, it's good to see you. Hey Jen, hey Sonia, hey Katie, hey Boris. Oh my gosh, you guys are coming in so fast. Sherry, it's good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much for being here. Let me raise my chair up a little bit so I don't look like a little bitty miniature person sitting in my chair. <laughs> Hi. Hi. It's good to see you. Thanks for being here. So, I <laughs> don't miss a thing. You don't want to miss a thing. So, I want to talk to you guys a little bit today. This is my hashtag inspiration scope. So, thank you for being here. Not quite as popular as my cooking scopes, but that's okay. I feel like that these, uh, hi, it's good to see you. I feel like that these are important things to share out as well as being healthy in the food that you eat, but also um, being healthy in the mind. I did, absolutely. Um, being healthy in your mind and your heart as well. And so that's why I want to share out these uh, these inspirational scopes. So I am going to ask you just one time right down here in the corner, there is a little guy. If you just tap him, that little Perry guy right there, if you just tap him on his cute little head and share out to your followers, I would greatly appreciate. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we did an amazing smoothie today, Sherry. You'll love it. It's full of fat. <laughs> Hi, Chasty. It's good to see you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Sharing out on Twitter, sharing out with your followers means the world to me. We are in this together. We are in this together. <laughs> uh, and um, I, have a, uh, I have a very dear friend. Her name is Dana. And I'm going to talk about Dana today. I was actually going to talk about something different, but I felt really compelled to talk about her Facebook post this morning. So just finished it. It's a great smoothie. We had a lot of fun in that scope too. So let me introduce myself super fast. My name is Leslie. I'm a light bulb expert. Uh, I help people have light bulb moments before they get disease, before they get cancer, before they uh, have something tragic happen in their life that forces them to evaluate their lives. I want you to evaluate your lives today. So um, <laughs> that's very good, Boris. You, your English is just fine. It's probably much better than how I speak your language. So hugging somebody today is important. So yes, absolutely. So I like to help people have light bulb moments and not just in the kitchen, but also in your heart and into your mind. And so today we're going to talk about one of those moments that I had. Um, and I'm going to just share with you a little bit about a post that I read from a very dear friend today who is finding her empowerment in great, amazing ways. Um, she does a blab with Evan Summers. She's, in fact, they're blabbing right now. As we are here, they're in a blab. <laughs> so, um, and they're making a bath bomb. So, um, but I just want to share with you her Facebook post today and I'm just going to go ahead and read it. Um, and then you can, and then we'll talk about it. So yes, whole health Dana, that's her right there. Whole health Dana. <laughs> that's okay. You're doing fine. So, um, here's her Facebook post. I'm going to have to look at my computer. So forgive me. It says, what lie do you believe about yourself? And all my life until now, I have been very private and I've tried to remain under the radar. I've always believed that lie that I am forgettable. I always assume that people don't remember me and I don't make an impression on anyone. I've decided today that I'm letting go of that lie. I'm sorry, this almost makes me cry. So, because I know her personally and so it touches me to see her say this because it's amazing. She says, today I'm letting go of that lie. I'm memorable uh, and people enjoy my company. Day one of affirmations. <laughs> and I just thought that that was so empowering to put that out on her business page. She put that out on her business page. That wasn't just something that she sent out to her friend. This is something that she went out on a limb and put out on her Facebook page. She has empowered herself publicly. She's accountable for that empowerment. And I'm just so stinking proud of her. And she's this gorgeous, she's this gorgeous woman inside and out. And she has lost a loved one recently, her husband, um, to cancer in a very tragic way. And that was her light bulb moment. When she lost her husband, that's when the light bulb went off. I know, total transparency, Katie. You're absolutely right. Such a beautiful thing to share. No boundaries, no holding back. She just let it all out. So her whole efforts, um, I know it's very sad. It's actually sad, but she has such a beautiful way to remember her, him. And that is, um, <laughs> well, thank you. Um, that is sharing back out what she has learned through his death. 
and it's so powerful and she's going to impact so many people and empower so many people. I know it is very sad. Thank you, Boris. That's very sweet of you. Um, but I encourage you to read her story. So she, her handle is whole health Dana. Her website is wholehealthdana.com. So W H O L E health H E A L T H Dana D A N A Dana dot com and I'm just gonna show you real quick I'm gonna turn my camera around and just show you real quick a picture of this gorgeous lady that I'm talking about so bear with me you guys are on a tripod so bear with me this is Dana there's her website right there whole health Dana and this is her post that she made this morning thank you so much for putting that out there you guys, go find her on Facebook. Read her story. It is so inspiring and so unbelievable. And I'm just, I'm so inspired by her humanity this morning um, by coming out and saying that. She's actually doing a radio interview today, and I know she's a little bit nervous about it. But at the same time, I know she's going to kick butt. She is so smart and so passionate about what she does. And her husband, there you go, screenshotting it, that's good. And her husband, um, her husband was an amazing man. They did not get to live together very long. Um, he died very soon after they were married. And so, um, and it's, it was, it's such such a sad story but at the same time it's so freaking empowering that she has that she has done this uh thank you Janie that she has taken the steps to move her life forward and when I met Dana this has almost been a year ago actually gosh it's coming up on a year for sure when I met Dana she was um, we met in a class and she was very online and she was very reserved. She didn't even have a profile picture and she did not have, um, she wasn't very, she didn't communicate a whole lot, but she and I clicked very quickly. We had a relationship very quickly where we were talking back and forth and, um, I know she's amazing. Yeah, she's amazing. Good, Boris. Yeah, go check it out. Please tell, tell her that I sent you. It will make her day that you, that she found, that you found her through me. So, but she was very shy and very reserved and I don't even know if shy is the right word but like she says she didn't think that she was rememberable and that people didn't enjoy her company and I loved her the instant we started talking one of the first episodes of go to kitchens I filmed was with her she taught me how to make chocolate she's the chocolate lady she's the one that taught me how to make paleo chocolate and um, and she taught me how to make my own coconut milk and so I'm just she taught us how to make kombucha she was on one of my scopes so she and she She's done all that because of her husband's cancer journey and so she had a light bulb moment and unfortunately she didn't have it before Hugo died and so it's um, it's it's really powerful so here's my encouragement here's my inspiration to you I know it's fun right so yeah that's her she's the hands on the other side of that so <laughs> really yeah she has, she's an amazing cook she has some amazing recipes so I'm trying to get her to periscope she's ramping up she's gonna do it one day but she's working on it so I want to encourage you to stop believing lies about yourself um, yeah right I know I will have her back for sure I will absolutely have her back so um, but stop believing lies about yourself you know a lot of us from I, I'll just tell you one of the lies that I've believed all my life about myself. Um, I was diagnosed with dyslexia when I was in junior high. And um, one of the lies that I really bought into and bought into hard was that I wasn't smart because I couldn't spell and I couldn't do math well and that I couldn't do um, things that other kids did so easily. I mean, studying and reading for me is hard. It's, it's not something that comes naturally for me. I have to force myself to understand when I'm reading a book I absolutely when I pick up a book so I'm here's a book right now that I'm reading um, when I pick up a book like this that has a lot of medical terminology in it um, I have a really hard time putting that into solid thoughts <laughs> to translate back out to you guys so I think one of the reasons, but so that, that I believed all my life that I wasn't smart because of that. I mean, I knew I was pretty smart, but not the, not conventionally smart. Like a lot of people are not easily smart. It took me, it takes me a lot of time to get, you know, things down right. And so, and to this day, I still pronounce words wrong and my blog is a mess with typos and stuff, but 
if I, if I continued to buy into the fact that I wasn't smart, I wouldn't be here with you guys. Um, <laughs> you know, right? I wouldn't be here with you guys. I know it does. It does. It takes, I know it takes me a lot of time, Sherry, a lot of time. So, but I wouldn't be here doing this. So when I got rid of that lie, when I decided that that was no longer my truth, um, then I was free to write a blog post and I'm not a bad writer. I'm a pretty decent writer. Um, <laughs> I know it does. Absolutely. And so, and, and, and so it's, I, I just stopped. I just stopped uh, when when that happens. I have a little bit of that too. Um, you know, t-shirt and tennies, I know I know your name and I can't remember it. I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> You're funny, Janie. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's so sweet. Yeah, right. It doesn't mean that I'm not intelligent. And so it still hurts my feelings when people, Stephanie, thank you so much for reminding me. I'm sorry. I apologize, Stephanie, that I did not remember. Um, but it, it, it is, uh, but it, it still hurts my feelings when people come at me with, uh, negative things. I know I don't let it stop me anymore. That's for sure. But it's still, I still get my feelings hurt every once in a while when people come at me with negative, you know, I had somebody write me a really nasty letter. You know, your blog, po your blog is, is beautiful, but it's a mess. You need to have some Somebody go through and edit it and blah, blah, blah. And it wasn't done in a nice way. It was come from a hateful position. And I just, you know, I was like, God, how do you deal with that? So, um, <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. And so sometimes all the editing in the world doesn't help even. So I know, I know. So it's, you know, and it's tough. And so, but at the same time, I don't wallow around in that. I don't go, gosh, I'm not a very good writer. I have a lot of spelling mistakes, so I'm not going to do that. I stopped believing that lie. I just stopped believing it and said, I have a message to share and I'm going to get out there and share <laughs> I'm going to get out there and share it. And, and and so I did. I just get out there, right? I know. I know. So I just get out there and share it. And and I'm sorry if it offends somebody that I never mean, mean it as an offense. And it's not because I'm lazy, lazy. It's because I have a learning disability. So, but Dana, you know, Dana is was surprised when people remember her. Stephanie, you said you're surprised when people remember you. And so, and you shouldn't be because you are rememberable. Every single one of you are people that are worthy of being remembered. And it doesn't matter if they can't remember your name, but they're going to remember their face. They're going to remember your deeds as well. And so you want to be remembered for good things, <laughs> not negative things. So yes. I know, I know, don't accept the lie. And and it's, you know, there's so many people being told that they're not good enough, that they're not, you know, strong enough or um <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. See, Sherry, you and I are soul sisters. That's what that is. <laughs> we are. We're soul sisters. I'm pretty sure of it. Uh, I know, right? Yes, humanity is beautiful. And all of our differences, Janie, you're spot on. All of our differences make us what we are. And so as a group, I mean, as what we are as a group. So I don't have strengths in one hand, so let's let's just use me as an example. So my strengths are not spelling and math and all that kind of thing. So because of that, there's somebody who has those strengths that I can hire and create a job for that person for them to go on and create my blog. But what if everybody could spell and everybody was good at math and everybody was good at everything? If that was the case, then we wouldn't, none of us would have a job because that's what we do. We do things that we are good at. We excel at things that we are good at and we share those back out to the world. So uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Boris. Boris this is the first time on my broadcast, I think. So thank you for being here. Um, but yeah, so it is, you know, um, my weakness is somebody else's strength. I find another person to compliment that and we work together. So I know how boring would that be? I agree. I agree. I exactly, exactly. So <laughs> Katie, <laughs> Hey, Rosemary, it's good to see you in here. So absolutely, absolutely do not buy into the lies that you are told day after day. Um, you know, there's so much media that tells us that we're fat or tells us that, you know, because we have gray hair. Somebody commented on my gray hair yesterday that if we're gray, if we have gray hair, that we're not attractive or if that our teeth aren't perfect, that we're not attractive. And so... <laughs> No, I don't ever worry about what I'm going to scope about. I have lots to say. I'm going to be like 90 years old on Periscope. That's 
still having stuff to say. So, <laughs> hey, Missy, it's good to see you. So, but we have all of these things. We have all of these things that are, that we can buy into that are lies because, um, <laughs> I know, right? I'm not covering my grays. I'm not doing it. So yeah, there was some talk about, you know, maybe if you are in the public all the time, you should cover your grays. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I had cancer, baby. Those grays came in because of that cancer. They're staying. They're a reminder. Uh <laughs> I don't know how I do. They just come to me. I told you it's divine. I swear to you, Sherry, it's divine. It's it's not me. It's a higher thing inside of me that comes out. So <laughs> I know, right? Power to the grace. So <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Signs of wisdom. So it's because I think too much and I lost all my hair pigment, you know, so <laughs> yes, that's right. Yeah, it is super. And I feel very blessed to be given this gift. I've been trusted with something extraordinary. And I feel very honored uh, to have that happen. And so it's it's something that I, sometimes I shake my head and can't believe that it's happening to me. So yeah, <laughs> really? Yeah, I've never colored my hair. This is my hair color. I've never, ever colored my hair. So it does. It is a part of growing up. I mean, I'm 45. It's it's time to have some gray hair, so I'm totally okay. <laughs> oh, good, Boris. That's awesome. Boris, your English is great. Keep it up. You're doing a great job. Where are you from? Tell us where you're from. I can guess, but tell us where you're from. So, Yeah, right? I know. Robin just popped his head in the door, and he said, you want to see gray hair? I mean, he's got a beautiful head of, like, salt and pepper hair, so... <laughs> Uh oh, Marcy. <laughs> Don't block Marcy. Oh, I do and write blog posts and have a life and everything. So it's it's a lot. But you and you know I'm not good at time management though. Yeah. <laughs> south of France. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love the south of France. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous part of the world. Lucky you. I know, light bulb, right? <laughs> Hey, Karen, light bulb, light bulb, hashtag light bulb. So, <laughs> well, I don't know about that. I work a lot of hours, so I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm taking two days off this week. I'm doing some self-care this week. I have been, uh, <laughs> thank you. I know, it's a great story, right? A, an amazing story, Karen. It was, uh, it truly was a light bulb moment. I'm about to write a blog post about it, so yes. It's pretty cold. Yeah, I bet it's cold because, yeah, you're near the mountains. And, yeah, I'm in the mountains, too. I'm in Fort Collins, Colorado. Yay, Chastity, I love that. I love that. I, lo I love that. I really do because people give me light bulb moments all the time. So, <laughs> Sherry, I would love it if you scoped. Oh, my gosh, I would be so happy to see you in a scope. I'd be thrilled as could be. Thrilled as could be. Uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't block Marcy. That's good. Don't block Marcy. All right, you guys. Um, I just wanted to share that beautiful story with you. Please go follow Whole Health Dana. You can follow her here, but she doesn't scope yet. Um, on Blab as well, Whole Health Dana. Whole Health Dana, yep. Um, oh, I would love that. I would love to do that, Karen. Absolutely. DM me. I think I follow you. If not, uh, send me a message on Twitter, and I'll, I'll follow you, and then we can do that. So... <laughs> Sherry, oh no. Ah, it's because you're trying to be perfect. You can't be perfect. Uh, absolutely. You should scope too, Chastity. Oh my gosh, you guys. Scoping is very liberating. I know you all have a message. I know you all have. Bye, B. Are you leaving? Um, I know that you all have a message and that you all have something unique to share with this community. And uh, you will have my full support. So if you are scoping, please let me know ahead of time. And I will, pro I will most definitely be there. So hit the red button. What am I doing? Hit the red button. What does that mean? Oh, to stop? <laughs> Do you want me to stop? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Boris. You live next to the sea. I'm jealous. I want to live next to the sea. <laughs> I live next to the mountains. Very close to the mountains, in fact. I'm kind of having a crazy hair day today. Whatever. Janie scoped. Janie scoped. Oh, yeah. Hit the... Oh, okay. Yeah. Start broadcast. Start broadcast. So, red button to scope. Thank you. I was like, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. Duh. <laughs> It wasn't putting two and two together there. I know. It is so fun. It is so, so much fun. I love it. I love it. Okay. I got to go pick up my dog from the groomer. I don't like him to stay there any longer than he has to. So... <laughs> 
<laughs> That's true, right? There's no time. I don't have any time to watch everybody. No, but I'll totally be there. I can double, I can multitask. Maybe that's why, Sherry, why I'm doing so well, because I multitask very, very well. So not on here, but when I'm doing other things. So, so yes, I got to go get Edison. He got a haircut today. And uh, if you're on the VIP page, I just posted some pictures of the dinner last night. So please go check it out. It was a lot of fun. I didn't take as many pictures as I wanted to because I was caught up in conversation. And what I was originally going to talk about today was conversation, uh, you know, listening and not just constantly talking. And uh, but really, I was touched by Dana so much that I wanted to share that with you guys. I thought it was way more appropriate. And it really I really felt a pull to share with you guys that you are rememberable and that um, <laughs> so that you are are you have you are rememberable and people do remember you and don't think that you're just sitting out there and nobody knows who you are so and even though I couldn't remember Stephanie's name I always know when you're here so thank you so much for that um, <laughs> my location is always off I never have my location on. So yes, I never have my location on. I did in San Francisco and I'm, I'm telling you, even when I'm in a public space like that, um, I don't think that I would ever leave it on again. So yes, we are all unique. Absolutely. Rosemary spot on. We are all unique. We all have something to offer. Everyone has something to offer to someone else. So <laughs> Eric, I know there's some words that I don't say very well. Rememberable. My, they don't come out of my mouth. So you ought to hear me try to speak Italian. That's always really interesting. Really interesting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, that's no good. I hate that. Well, I just don't like, here's the thing. I would love for you to be able to turn on, um, I would love for you to be able to turn on um, my Periscope and be able to watch with your kids and not be afraid of somebody saying, you know, uh, no, I didn't know that. How come I don't know that? Sherry, I know I'm following you because, hold on. Oh my gosh, I'm not. I'm totally, What? why am I not following you? That's ridiculous. I just followed you. That's crazy town. Um, so <laughs> just because I haven't done it, I, I apologize for that. So, um, but yeah, I just, I would like for you guys to be able to watch my show with your kids and never worry about if I'm going to drop an F-bomb or ever worry about somebody coming on and saying, you know, um, I will. Absolutely, I will. Um, and never worry about somebody coming on that, you know, say show boobs and saying ridiculous things that are just um, that your children shouldn't have to read or you shouldn't have to read. So I try to keep my I try to keep that to a minimum. I'd rather have less followers and less people in my periscopes and have the quality that I have as opposed to constantly all of us having to block people all the time. So um, that's super important to me, keeping those broadcasts clean. That is to me, it's part of my service back out to you guys so that you do not have to worry about, um, about you know, I, in fact, when I'm on somebody's broadcast and there's tons, <laughs> that's right, that was my F-bomb today, fat equals F-bomb, that's right, um, yeah, you're welcome, you're welcome, so I think it's super important um, to, and, and uh, Dining Happy, Jackie from Dining Happy was just periscoping about this, uh, she said, you know, I'd rather have less followers, you know, if I had on my location, I would probably have double the followers that I have right now, but I had... Um, <laughs> that's, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Um, but when I had my location on, I was getting followers like crazy, but I kept having to block them because they were all trolls. I hate that word trolls. They were all people that did not have any good intentions. And so, um, so I ended up having to block them and I don't like that. I don't like that you guys have to come in and block it. And when I get featured, which has happened a couple of times now, when I get featured, um, it's, it's really bad. And so, yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's awesome. We're going to have a whole new kind of F-bomb around here. I, oh my gosh, I know that freaks me out. That, yeah, <laughs> I know. I just don't, the trolls are bad. It's bad. It scares me too. I don't even, um, <laughs> I don't even, I don't even, I never turn on my location. I had it on in San Francisco and that was a huge mistake. So, oh, thank you so much for saying that. I, no time for excuses. I don't think I know your name either. I know it's true. It's true. I just hate that word. I, you know me. I'm all about the positivity and not about the negativity. So 
I have no idea. I have no idea how I get featured. I mean, I don't have that many followers even. So, I mean, I have like 1,400 followers. It's not even, I'm like, not even a big deal. But, um, yeah, I think it has to do with engagement. So, you guys heart me up all the time. I mean, we're getting close to a million hearts, and I have very few followers for somebody that has a million hearts. Most people that have a million hearts have over 2,000 followers. And so, um, so you guys heart me up, which is amazing. Um <laughs> Thank you, Rosemary. So I think it has to do with engagement versus like all the, you know, the number of people in the broadcast versus the engagement versus the hearts. I mean, they take all of those and say, oh, well, you know, this must be good content or, you know, whatever. And so I think that's all taken into consideration. So uh, did I get chosen for the dinner periscope? I don't know what that means. I guess not. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Eric. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh it's been quite an experience. I can't imagine um my business being better. So bye Boris, thank you. Oh my goodness, go to bed. Yes, please, please, please. <laughs> thank you. You stay awesome too. <laughs> That's amazing. So ah, oh, yes, um you mean did I get chosen? Oh no, not during my dinner periscope. So yeah. Yeah, but I mean I did get chosen to have that dinner. That I had to go through a vetting process. So I did get chosen from our local newspaper to have that. So I know, right? I forget about them too. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm supposed to give hearts. Oh my gosh. Uh, well, we are almost done. Actually, we were talking about uh, being memorable and not being forgettable and how we are all that. Um, it was just my local newspaper. They they just ran a, you know, who wants to do this? And they had like 300 entries and they picked five people and I was one of them. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Cynthia, thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching replays. I really appreciate that. I really do. So, yeah. Boris is awesome. I've, he's never been here before. I'm happy to have him here. So, okay, you guys. I'm going to hop out. I'm going to go get Edison, and he's going to bark all the way home. Uh, yes, I had to apply with my local newspaper. Yep. So, yeah, it's nice to have you here, Cynthia. Um, and I had to apply with my local newspaper and it worked out great. I loved every second of it. In fact, there was some, um, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Marcy. So are you. Marcy is amazing. If you guys aren't following Fit Mouse Marcy, you are, you're missing something. Go follow Fit Mouse Marcy. She's amazing. She's on a vegan journey, uh, to converting her diet. She's doing a great job and, uh, she talks about it very openly. So please, please, please. Yeah. I, I will. Okay, I'll put, I promise I'll post it. Did you see the picture of him, Janie, laying underneath the t dinner table last night? So last night at our dinner party, he never lays underneath the table. And he would not, he was like, I'm laying underneath this table, Mom. And I'm going to lay right at your feet. And he was just sacked out underneath the table. It was hilarious. And thank God we're a dog-loving community around here because nobody minded. But, <laughs> like, Edison, what are you doing? <laughs> so, so funny. He's a crazy dog. He's crazy. He's crazy like his mom. Crazy. So, yeah, it's on the VIP page. I just posted pictures from last night on the VIP page, so go check it out. All right, so, you guys, my name is Leslie. I have a website, go to kitchens.com. There is nothing for sale over there. The only thing I want you to buy is I want you to buy into your own health. We do two scopes a day uh, during the weekdays. We do one scope. If it's hashtag, look, at, that's bad. Um, if it's hashtag, if it's hashtag light bulb, those are cooking and wellness scopes. Hashtag inspiration are inspirational scopes. Um, we definitely do that noon one, the, the cooking one is at noon mountain time. You're welcome. You're welcome, Sherry. Um, and the, um, the other one, <laughs> the inspirational one is just random. So you guys just kind of have to catch them. So I will absolutely. So you guys have an amazing afternoon. If you're not following me, please follow replay viewers. I really appreciate it. Swipe up or down, whichever device you have, uh, and just follow me. And if you don't like it, you can unfollow me, but I would love if you did that, please check out gotokitchens.com and uh, consider becoming a VIP. There's nothing for sale. So just, uh, an email address, you get a whole bunch of free stuff. It's kind of simple. <laughs> what are you waiting for? <laughs> You're welcome, Rosemary. I'm glad to have you on here live. Thank you guys so much that we're here with me live. And thank you to all the replay viewers and all the hearts because you guys are solid rock and roll. We're going to cross over a million very soon. And I'm super excited. We've almost gotten 500,000 hearts just this week. And I've gained almost uh, like 120 followers in four days. And that has to do with Monday, what happened on Monday. So what? It's nuts. I, that's a record. We haven't, I haven't done that at all. Usually it's between four and five, uh, like every three or four days I get, you know, so thank you. Thank you, Shannon. Thanks for being here.
You have a blessed day as well. I know. It's amazing. It's amazing. And I love the momentum that we have right now. So sharing it out. Getting the word out. <laughs> word. All right. I have to go write two blog posts. Go pick up my dog. And <laughs> what happened? Uh, what happened on Monday? <laughs> I love that, B. I love that you're starting your day with me. That makes me very happy. Um, yeah, so on Monday, Kim Garst uh, shared out a uh, moment that she and I had in an elevator, <laughs> so, which is hilarious sounding, but uh, Kim Garst, who is a business maven, in my opinion, I watch her all the time, uh, she and I met in the elevator at the Periscope Summit, and we had a little chat, and I impressed her without even knowing how much I had impressed her. I was actually impressed with myself. Um, but I impressed her as well, and she did a whole periscope about me on Monday. You can see it on her catch, um, and and it was it was I felt very humbled and amazed that she recognized uh, something in me that I didn't even recognize in myself. So it was it was really super awesome of her. But she's just the bomb dot com like that. I, B, I stole that from you. Uh, but she's just she's just amazing like that. So. Uh, <laughs> Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you. I know it's just, it was so touching and so amazing that I just, it's just been an amazing week. She made it an amazing, an amazing week. So yes, <laughs> that's B <bee> saying. <laughs> I just, I just stole it from her. I think <laughs> so funny. Cracks me up. Now I want to say it all the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Oh my gosh, Shannon. That means a lot to me. Thank you so much for saying that. Yeah, it just comes from the heart. It's just everything is from the heart. It doesn't, there is no persona here. I'm not trying to be something that I'm not, which a lot of people are not doing that. A lot of people are very genuine. Um, but yeah, it's just, yeah, I've been, I have been given a gift and it was my decision to do what I wanted to with it. And, um, and I just, you know, I'm, I, this is what I've chosen to do. And so what you see is what you get and either you love it or you don't like it or you hate it. I don't know. It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> it's just what it's been given to me. So yes, divine gift, a divine gift. I know. Yeah. I love that too, Shannon. And you can't hide. I mean, that's the thing that I keep getting is that you can't hide. And so I am totally blessed Rosemary, I am totally, totally blessed. You're absolutely right. Um, but you're welcome. You're welcome. So, but yeah, it's, it's been, it's been such a, it's been such an interesting ride so far and I can't wait to see what happens. So yeah, I'm just letting it go where it wants to go. And, um, yeah, and it's been, I'm not trying to force anything to happen and, but great things are happening and it's just, you know, I'm just letting it be what it is. And I don't get upset when things don't go the way I think that they should. And which, uh, I used to do, but I don't do anymore. And I'm just letting go to kitchens develop into what it's, what it needs and wants to be. So yeah. I know, in the flow, in the flow, absolutely, absolutely. All right, seriously, Edison's going to be like, those scopers, what are they doing? I, Mom's got to come get me. So <laughs> I need to go get Edison and uh, and listen to him bark all the way back home. But that's okay because he's a good boy and I'll listen to him bark. So, all right, uh, I'll post a picture on the VIP page of Edison and his new do. He's going to look cute. He looks very racy, very sporty when you cut him like we've got him cut. So... <laughs> Okay, see you guys later. Bye.